Hello everyone, today I am going to tell you the trick to memorize the value of the trigonometric functions for the different angles. The angles are given in the columns and the trigonometric functions are given in the rows. So, trigonometric functions are sine, cos, tan, cosecant, secant and cot and the angles are 0, 30, 45, 60, 90, 180, 270 and 360. So, I will tell you today how you can memorize the values as most of us are unable to understand, memorize them. So, the total values in this table will be 48 and you have to memorize only 9 values and the remaining that are 39 values will be derived from these 9 values. So, it means you just need to memorize the 9 values out of 48. So, isn't it amazing? Yes. So, let's see how you can do it. So, I am going to write the values, the 9 values that you have to memorize. Uh, and from which the remaining values you have to drive in bla in the black color so that you can easily identify which values you have to memorize. So, we will start with sine 0. Sine 0 degree is 0 and cos 0 is 1. Then sine 30 degree is 1 divided by 2 and sine 45 degree is 1 divided by under root 2 and sine 60 is under root 3 divided by 2 and sine 90 is 1 and sine 180 is 0. Similarly, cos 90 is 0 and cos of 180 degree is minus 1. So, these are the values that you need to memorize and the rest of the values will be derived from these. So, isn't it easy to memorize just 9 values out of the 48? Yes, so it is easy. So, let's see how we can derive the rest of the values from them. So, I will write it in red. Now, cos of 30 degree, 45 and 60. These three values will be derived from sine of 30, 45 and 60. How? Cos 30 will be under root 3 by 2. How? We have derived this value from sine of 60. So, this value will come here. Then, cos of 45 is the same as sine of 45. That is 1 over under root 2. So, the same value will come here. Then, cos of 60 is the same as sine of 30. This value will come here. So, it will be 1 divided by 2. So, this is how we can derive these value. Now, what left is sine 270 and sine 360 cos 270 and cos 360. We can easily do this by this value will go here. That is sine of 270 is minus 1 and sine and cos of 270 is this value will go here is 0. Then sine of 360 is what? sine of 360 is, is 0. That is the same as that of cos of 90. That is, you have to put this value here. It means that there will be 0. Sine of 360 is 0. And sine cos of 360 will be the same as sine of 90. That is 1. So, you will put the 1 here. So, we have got the values of sine and cos. What left is now tan, cosecant, secant and cot. All these values will be derived from first two. Now, tan is basically sine over cos. So, once we get the values of sine and cos, we can easily find the value of tan. So, I can write here as tan 0 is sine over cos. So, from here we will get, get the value of sine. From here we will get the value of cos. So, 0 divided by 1 is 0. Then we have tan 30. Tan 30 is sine divided by cos. So, 1 divided by 2 divided by under root 3 divided by 2. So, what we will get is 1 divided by under root 3. So, what is tan 45 and 60? Simply again, you have to divide the value of sine and cos. So, what we will get here is 1 and here we will get is under root 3. So, simply these values are drive, we are driving from the sine and cos. Now, tan 90 is undefined because 1 divided by 0 is undefined. So, I will write here as undefined. Then we have tan 180 again 0 divided by minus 1 will be 0. Then tan of 270 is minus 1 divided by 0. So, minus 1 divided by 0 will be undefined. Then tan of 360 is 0 divided by 1 that is 0. Now, cosecant, secant and cot the values of these three trigonometric functions will be the, be the reciprocal of the values in the first three columns that is Cosecant, the value of cosecant 0 will be reciprocal of the, of the sine 0. Value of secant 0 will be the reciprocal of the cos 0. And value of the cot 0 will be the reciprocal of tan 0. So, we just need to invert these values. So, cosecant, cosecant 0 will be undefined. 
keep this in mind. One divided by zero and zero divided by zero. Both are undefined. Then cosecant thirty is as sine thirty is one by two. So cosecant thirty will be two by one. So it will be two. Then cosecant forty five will be under root two, as we have to invert the values. Cosecant sixty will be two divided by under root three. Cosecant ninety will be one one divided by one. Cosecant one eighty will be one divided by zero. That will be undefined. Uh, cosecant two seventy will be one divided by minus one. So it will be minus one. And cosecant will be one divided by zero. That is undefined. Then secant is the reciprocal of cos theta values. So secant zero will be one divided by one. So we'll get one here. Secant thirty will be two divided by under root three. Secant forty five will be under root two by one. That is under root two. Secant sixty will be one by two. So it will uh, it it will be two. Secant ninety will be one divided by zero. That will be undefined. And secant one eighty will be minus one one divided by minus one. So it will be minus one. Secant two seventy will be. One divided by zero that is undefined, and secant three sixty will be one divided by one that is one. So what left is cot. Cot is the uh, is the reciprocal of tan. So well all the values will, of the tan will uh, will be inverted. So one divided by zero cot zero is undefined. Cot thirty is under root three by one. It will be one uh, under root three. Cot forty five will be one. Cot sixty will be one over under root three. Cot ninety will be. As undefined is one divided by zero, so when we invert it, we will get zero divided by one, so it will be zero. Cot one eighty will be one divided by zero, that is undefined. Cot two seventy will be as it's undefined uh, as minus one one by zero, so it will be zero. We have to invert the values. Wherever I have written undefined, it's either one by zero or zero by zero. So if it's one by zero, and when we invert, it will become zero. Then cot of three sixty is one divided by zero, that is undefined. So I have derived all the values from the given nine values, and it's so easy that we can memorize these values at, like this. Otherwise, it will become difficult to memorize the forty-eight values of the of this table. So, I hope so. It will help you out. Keep this in mind. You have to memorize only the values that are written in black. That are nine values, and the rest of the thirty-nine values will be derived from these nine values. So. That's all from today's lecture. Thank you.